All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to write up to 1000 articles at once using Zimwriter's blog writer feature. So this is going to allow you to put in a bunch of headlines and then Zimwriter is just going to spit out all the articles for you, which you can then upload. And there's a bunch of things you can do, like connect it to the website, automatically upload them and things like that. So I'm going to go into that in this video and show you the basics of using this. So the first thing you're going to need is obviously access to Zimwriter. If you don't have Zimwriter yet, I'm going to put my affiliate link in the description below. If you get the lifetime access one, you can get $15 off. Matt has been kind enough to give me that discount for people who use my affiliate link. So click that if you want to get it and get that discount. Once you have Zimwriter and you've got it installed, you want to open it up and go to the main menu, obviously, when it opens. And what you want to do is hit bulk writer. And this is going to open up this window here which is going to allow you to input all of the titles of all the blog posts you want it to write. And then it's going to go and actually write them. Now there's a bunch of features that go into this as well. So I'm going to go over those in this video to show you what you can do with this. So what you would do is you can go down this list and you can type in all of the headlines that you want articles to be written about. So in some of my previous videos, I've spoken about an e-com store that I'm busy setting up selling coilovers, which are a part for a performance car. It's not really relevant for the purpose of this video, but basically I'm going to use that as an example to show you how you could do this. So what I've done is I've gone into SEMrush and I've pulled out this keyword list of all of the keywords relating to coilovers. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take all of these. I'm going to put them in a notepad, the ones I want Zimwriter to write an article about. And so you could go through this list. I've pulled out the questions from SEMrush. So if we go into SEMrush just to show you and we go into keyword, I've just typed in coilovers and in here under questions, I've just exported this whole list. So basically you could go through and get it to just write articles about every question that's asked. So let's go back to the Excel and we'll go notepad and I'm just going to pull out all the ones that I want to actually be written. So we'll go, what are coilovers? What do coilovers do? How to adjust coilovers? How long do coilovers last? I'm skipping this because these are brands and I actually already have blogs about this. Now I'm not necessarily going to post all of these to the site. I just want to do this as an example. How to lower coilovers, how to raise coilovers. Technically these fall under how to adjust, but again, it's just the purpose of this video. Are coilovers worth it? It'll be interesting to see what it says about all this. Do coilovers replace struts? How do coilovers work? How much does it cost to install? And what's funny, if any of these actually are good articles, I might throw them onto the website, but let's keep going. Our coilovers universal. I've written one about that. All right. And now I've just put together a bunch of titles here, probably got 15 to 20 just for the example of this video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just minimize that and I'm going to open Zimwriter again. And now what we can do is throw these in here. And now you want to put each new one in a different line. And you can see here, we now have a whole bunch of potential articles that this is going to spit out for us. So now what you can do is here, you can set all of these different settings, which we want for each of these articles. So for instance, how many H2s you want in each articles. And if you want it to just decide what's most appropriate per article, you can use this as a suggestion. And what it's going to do is it's going to now dictate how many it puts in. So it won't necessarily do five. It might do more. It might do less. Now, another thing you can do is also select the H2 section length. And this is going to dictate how long the section of the H2 actually is. Now, I usually find that best results are on medium, at least with the SEO writer. So I'm going to assume it's going to do the same thing here. So we'll see what happens. You can select the voice you want it in as well. I usually select professional as I've found that that's usually the best result, especially when it's something to do with a business and it's not directly talking about a person. Now you can also select all of these things. So for instance, literary devices is like metaphor similes and things like that. I usually don't select this one personally because I found that it can get a bit too, let's say poetic. And it's, I, I don't particularly like what it spits out, at least what previously it's done. So I usually don't do it. I usually do select lists. Tables can be hit or miss. Sometimes it does a random table and something random that doesn't make sense. So I usually don't. Now, if you wanted to throw out a mid journey prompt for each H2 so that you can put that prompt into mid journey and spit out an image, you can select that as well. I typically don't, but you can do that. You can enable key takeaways, which means it'll do a quick key takeaway section after the intro at the top, which I'm going to do in this case. You can enable tease, which gets it to put in like a transition section at the end of H2 to the next H2. I'm not going to do that in this case. And one of the reasons why is because it's going to make it difficult to rearrange it if we need to. And you can also enable H3s. I'm going to enable H3s because I think that's good. You can have an FAQ if you want. 
I usually select FAQ and short answers, but you can have long answers as well. That, that usually spits out decent results too. Now you can select the personality of the audience. Personally, I just don't use this. I just set it to none and it's been the best results for me. You can also select what chat GPT model you want. I have found the most success so far with chat GPT-4. That for me has by far been the best one. So I just use that. Now you have to be aware that you're going to need access to the chat GPT-4 API, which I believe is you should be able to get now, but it's a bit more expensive than some of the other ones. So if you're on a real tight budget, I mean, this will probably be like a dollar an article, maybe less. But if you're on a tight budget, just be aware of that. You can also get it to write in the style of someone that's well known. In this case, I'm not going to do it. You can also do, you can also select it to do automatic keywords. So it's going to come up with what SEO keywords it should input and actually put them in it. So I'm actually going to select that for this one and let it do its thing. You can also select a bunch of these as well. I usually leave all of these unticked personally. This one just tells you what the progress is and it just counts at the corner of the screen. So I usually leave that. I'm going to do boost detection as real though, because I've found some success with that one. So I'm going to let that run. And now one other feature you can have is using best of two for the HQ and FAQs. Basically what that'll do is it'll write two versions and then select the best one. But what that's going to do is use twice as much tokens, which basically means you're going to pay for two articles. So if you've got a whole bunch of articles here, you're going to pay a lot of money. So I mean, this alone, I'm expecting this to potentially cost 10 bucks to write all these articles or something, which is not bad, but just be aware that you're going to double it. Now, there's a couple of extra features on the side here as well. If you have connected Zimwriter to a WordPress website, and I'll probably make another video about doing this, you can actually get it to automatically upload all of these articles into WordPress and it can do it as a draft, it can do it as published, whatever you want. So that's a really good feature if you wanna save a lot of time and just upload them straight to the site. You can select SERP scraping and what that means is it will actually go and scrape the Google search result for the most appropriate keyword and then combine all of the results and use that content to write your article which can be very good but you have to pay for that you need to have scrape owl and you're gonna to have to pay for each scrape so it can get costly so just be aware of that you can also set a custom outline which basically means you can give it some background on what the outline of the article should be in like a format to use which will interfere with the h2s here the suggestion because you're basically telling it what to do so i'm just going to leave that alone for now but you can do that you can also do custom prompt where you can actually give it a particular prompt that you want it to have for what it's going to make. So for instance, for the intro, for the conclusion, for the subheadings, you can give it a prompt that basically, it's like what you would put into chat GPT, like make it in the style of, or something like that. You can put that in here and have it manipulate what is actually coming out for the content. And the last thing is you can have YouTube as well, YouTube videos where what it'll do is it will go find an appropriate YouTube video and actually insert the link or the embed into each of these blogs for the most appropriate section. Again, you have to have Scrapal for this in order for it to actually go and do this. So, and it's gonna to add to your cost, but it can make a very in-depth rich article if you do this. And the last thing is SEO CSV. So basically what this will be is you can put all these settings in a CSV file and upload it here, and then it'll just do everything from there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna allow it to start this bulk writer with what we've put in here and let's see what happens. We'll let it write and then we'll quickly go over these articles and see what it's actually spat out. So we'll hit start now. All right, and now I've allowed Zimwriter to finish four of those articles. Obviously I wasn't gonna wait for all 18 for the purpose of this video, but it's now spat out four. And so basically what it does is it's spat out four in notepad format. And so we can now open these and actually have a look at them. So if we open them here, usually what I'll do is I'll copy them and I'll paste them into a word which just makes it a little bit easier to read. So if we take a look at this now, we can now read the content that it has put out. So we've got four articles that were written automatically with no interference from me. It's also done a mid journey prompt for this particular thing. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna remove this content because typically speaking, it also gives you a meta description. Typically speaking, I don't use that, but you can if you want, but you can see how with the bulk writer, it's given you an image, it's given you the meta description, and it's given you the whole article based off just that one headline. So now we can take a look and, and go through this. So this one is how long do coilovers last? And now you can see that it's given us this article. So we'll just skim over this for the purpose of the video. The longevity of coilovers and integral component of vehicle suspension is an aspect of automotive maintenance often required by vehicle owners. Typically lifespan varies greatly between the type of coilover, this blah, blah, blah. This document will delve into the average lifespan, so on. You can see this is pretty well written already. It's it's done by GPT-4, so it's actually pretty good. There's the key takeaways that we've spoke about, which is just a couple of bullet points. 
this is all fairly accurate actually okay so far so good actually now what you do have to remember here is you're going to sacrifice some level of quality and accuracy for the sake of writing bulkness and doing huge volume i mean that's pretty normal but so far this is actually pretty decent you can see it's got average lifespan it's come up with all these h2s itself understanding the functionality average lifespan factors affecting the coilovers longevity signs of worn out coilovers this is actually very good other indicators to watch out for this is all pretty good the coilover replacement process this is actually a pretty good article which i'm not surprised frequently asked questions it's done a faq on its own what's the cost range of high quality coilovers between 200 and 3000 okay so 200 is obviously not for a high quality coilovers the actual range is somewhere like 2000 to 5000 for like real high-end ones so sometimes it's not going to be 100 percent. but if we're talking about normal cast shocks which i think this is what it was thinking of it, that would be more accurate this is correct except the installation process doesn't really i would change that thing but you get the point like you're going to have some let's say uh, inaccuracies this is also accurate so you can see this article is pretty good i mean like you could put this on a website and it's actually pretty decent it's not it's not bad or anything it's not i would say it's like 95 to 98 percent there so it's pretty good now let's open up another one how to adjust coilovers you can see it's done this for this one as well you can also by the way just throw these into a strict markdown to word converter and then it'll actually convert it with the proper headlines and everything that will save you a bit of time if you want to do it that way i'm just going to delete this stuff again we got how to adjust coilovers key takeaways this is pretty accurate that is actually accurate accurate this is actually pretty good coilover wrench correct pry bar maybe maybe not so this is even going to use jack stands to secure the vehicle wear safety glasses and goggles i wouldn't say that's necessary but yeah fire extinguisher also not really necessary for coilover adjustment this is correct look at this it's even said Take, use a tape measure from the center of the wheel to the fender's edge that's accurate so it's actually managed to figure that one out which is pretty pretty good maintaining your coilovers frequently asked questions so you get the idea this is the two of the articles now that spat out in bulk with only the headline and these two articles are full-on articles that we can put on a blog 1400 words this one the last one was 1297 words so overall this is pretty impressive like imagine you wrote a thousand of these and automatically posted them to your website you'd have an entire blog about a whole topic with a thousand different articles covering whatever niche you're going after very very quickly and very very easily you could literally have it in one hit you let it click let it write upload it and just do it all on its own so that might be something i actually test out in a video in the future and actually just build a whole blog just by doing that and see what happens but that is how you can actually spit out a thousand articles as you can see here all with a couple of clicks within zimrider like i said if you want to get zimrider and test this out for yourself my affiliate links are below otherwise if you would like me to coach you on how to do seo or google ads and other aspects of marketing for only 49 dollars a month go to learndominatemarketing.com otherwise if you're looking for someone to do your seo or google ads or landing page optimization go to dominatemarketing.io book a call with us there Catch you on the next one.